In this video, I will go over seven different contractors types. This video is for both homeowners and contractors. Homeowners who are looking for contractors to hire for their project, maybe you're confused between different estimates, maybe price difference is too high or too big bet between different estimates. I want you to understand why contractors are different because they have different sizes, they have different structures. I will explain seven major types. I work with over 250 contractors per month. I deal with all of them. I've been in contracting business for over 10 years. Before that, I've been in trades myself for five years. I changed over 10 jobs. So I do know how to find a contractor, what to look for. Here's my tips for you. No matter who you about to hire, make sure you write down what's important for me. Here's my rating, here's what I pay attention to. Obviously, if you're the homeowner, price matters, quality matters, you have responsiveness, how fast they reply to you, how fast they're gonna do the job. You have a risk factors, um, because smaller companies and big companies have different risk factors and overall customer service. This is general trend, how they compare to each other working with homeowners. Each one of them can get actually five stars and I'll explain it to you. So there's exceptions to every rule. For example, the lowest one here is a storm chaser, but even storm chaser can get five on the price, give you the best price, give you the best quality, being the most responsive, be less risky and have really good customer service. So just because I put my rating here, it's Olympic uh, system rating, that I rank everything from shingles to the contractors to marketing platforms. This is just general idea how they compare to each other. Not only that, I will also give you examples of each type. Uh, we look through our community and we picked different contractors to highlight them and to show you the difference how they operate. Here at Roofing Insights and our sister company directory, we recommend contractors. If you're the homeowner looking for a recommendation, maybe it overwhelms you, maybe you don't know who to trust, reach out to us. We know contractors. We will give you the best recommendation we possibly can. Size does not mean anything. We recommend contractors of all sizes. Let's go over our chart here. Number one, the very first category, we have owner operators. Usually they do about 100,000 to 1 million a year, uh, wear a lot of hats. Those guys, they're hardworking guys. Usually they still do installations, they do sales, they do all the aspects of the business. A lot of times they don't have big overhead. They stay at home or in their garage, in their basements and uh, they don't have salespeople. For that reason, the price usually pretty good because just not having salespeople selling for them, right there, they can pass 10% savings to you. Quality, usually higher than some other uh, business uh, categories we have on the chart. Um, the lack, the cons here is responsiveness. Because they do too much, uh, they usually don't answer their phone fast enough. For example, last year I tried to hire a couple contractors myself. Out of five on average, I would have only two return my phone calls the same day or following day. I have to chase them. Some of the reason is because they're too small, they're owners, operators, and they just do too much. A responsiveness, they get three from us. Risk factor four, customer service four. And I'll explain what do we mean by risk. This category right here go out of business a lot. Within two years, 80% of owner's operator goes out of business. So you pay them today, you have quality issues later, you cannot find them, just no one there to find. Also, because they uh, don't charge often enough, they can easily change their name or they don't have money to pay claims. So they're just too small to take care of the customer on the long run. Now they do have less quality issues, but when something goes terribly wrong, they you're gonna have uh, some issues dealing, finding those contractors and have them make them accountable for their problems. Second, so overall 4.2 out of five stars here. Again, this is just how they compare to each other. You will definitely be able to find owners, operators who will get five stars here. As a matter of fact, a directory, this is our number one category. We have a lot of 
um, contractors who are owners, operators, but we hand pick them the best of the best and we try this number for us in these categories to be as close to five as possible. For example, if they're not responsive, we're trying to teach them, educate them, help them set up a process. Uh, so they respond to you as fast as possible, maybe hire assistant, maybe hire um, phone answering service, things like of that nature. Second one, number two, small business contractors. This will do about one to three million dollars. These companies understand the, uh, the business have to scale. They start hiring first sales rep, first receptionist, and uh, they still give you pretty good price, quality usually pretty good. They're a little bit better on the responsive rate, uh, risk is four and customer service is four overall. Still, a lot of these contractors, once they start scaling, they still, failure rate is still pretty high. Um, within five years, 80% of contractors go out of business. So they stay here, still kind of dangerous uh, size, I would say, your overhead is growing, your profitability goes down. Uh, you have to adjust and not many contractors are making it, unfortunately. But overall, you get good price, you get good quality. We have a lot of contractors in directory that were listed in this category. Overall, it's 4.4 stars. Next one is middle-sized business contractors. They do about three to five million dollars. They have uh, usually, uh, the price now start going a little bit up for you. So they're not going to be the cheapest. They will uh, the quality might go down a little bit, growing pains, once you start growing, you manage more projects, you focus a little bit more on sales, you juggle a little bit more balls and you will have more issues before you scale big. Um, they usually more responsive now because bigger overhead means you have to bring more business, you have to take care of more customers, so you have to adopt the responsive, this goes up. Good thing is your risk kind of goes down, they're big uh, enough to take care of small issues, so even if quality is goes down here, they still can take care of those issues, those job problems. So for example, if they re-roof their own house or they send the wrong materials, they actually have finances at this level already take care of it. And customer service overall is pretty good. I'll give you some, a couple examples of first three categories. Number one, owner operator here. We have um, Sean York, someone from our community. We met him about two years ago. Uh, awesome guy with a mullet women's magnet uh, right here, star improvements, friends of Roofing Insights for years, love this guy. He just loves to work with his hands, one of the strongest guys in the community. Uh, highly recommend him to do uh, any home projects, you can hire him with confidence. Um, small business contractors, one to three million dollars. I have recommendation for you, Eric Richardson, a roofing specialist of San Diego. They did about two million dollars this year. Next year, they're actually trying to go to this category here, up to five million dollars. They have 16 employees in-house. Eric still does some work, trying to do less of it, try to focus more on a business, but great example for small business contractors. And this to business Businesses, by the way, they would be ranked actually five. You know, I don't think you have high risk, customer services high, all of that. But again, I'm just giving you examples how they compare to other uh, sizes. Number three here, middle-sized contractors. We have Charlie Anderson and Steve Snyder here, DreamWork Exteriors, uh, also friends of Roofing Insights, awesome guys. Uh, and middle business contractors here uh, and top local contractors get 4.6 stars. So the highest in this chart, we think this size here is one of the best sizes for you to work with. And I'll explain why in the conclusion, but a great example, uh, Charlie Anderson, Steve Snyder here, great guys, awesome business partners, highly recommend those guys. Uh, in a middle business contractor section. Next one, number four, we have top local contractors, five to $15 million. This type of companies, usually everybody knows them in town. They're usually a bigger player. They've been around five, seven, eight years. Usually it's not uh, first three years in business. So they made it, they already made the cut. Now they're scaling. Great example here uh, would be Eric Reno, uh, another contractor from Michigan. Paramount Billing, also a friend of Roofing Insights, um, you know, five to fifteen million dollars. Number five, local leader. Uh, here we have Paul Kirk with uh, a Rapid Roofing, also 
uh, Michigan contractor. And I'll explain different dynamics between 15 million and 5 million. Both are great options, uh, but here, here's what we usually see with these companies. And again, it might not be the case for our two friends here, but I'll explain what you can expect. Your price usually goes up. Now you have bigger overhead, you have more people in the office, you have accountants. I mean, when you manage five, ten million dollars, you need some office help, you need CPAs, you need bigger overhead, you need managers, all of that. So what we have here, you have price usually goes on the higher end, quality a lot of times goes down, not always the case, but a lot of times when you grow and scale, a lot of subcontractors, a lot of people, I mean, they, they do have a lot of processes, they do have quality control, but if we compare uh, owner operator who is on every job and just not see about his quality and every shingle has to be approved by him, here you might have some issues with qualities compared to other uh, sizes. Uh, they're usually pretty responsive. Uh, I would say uh, five to $15 million company will be more responsive than 15 to 50. And the reason behind it, when you have big corporation, now you become a um, corporate. The corporate comes with bureaucracy. Now you have too many steps. Uh, we don't see it too often in construction world, but unfortunately, I, I read a lot of reviews online and I see how complaints are taken care of. When you have a big company, you will get your money back, they will make it right, but usually it's five-step process versus two-step process. So for that reason, we're giving them four stars in responsiveness here and both company gets five for risk. With this sizes, you, you, the, the reputation usually matters to them. So if they have to refund you $5,000 or make you happy or you didn't, they didn't clean your job and you ask you know, $1,000 uh, off your invoice, they probably don't have a problem with that. They will please you, they will come back, they will deal with major issues like wrong shingle color or some warranty calls because they have leverage in the marketplace. They are bigger players for them. Um, to replace two, three roofs for free or at their cost, it's not a big deal. Where on smaller sizes, those companies just don't have the funds to replace roof for free. So what they do, they just ghost you. They just don't pick up a phone, they don't come back. That's one of the reasons we uh, at Directory do $20,000 guarantee because even if we recommend you a smaller company and they mess up big, we feel like we are liable for that recommendation. We want to make it right. We want to pay you back. So your risk is higher with smaller companies. Here you are safe. Then we have number six, national leader, usually $50 million to 500. Now this is the biggest companies. If you are $50 million company in town, usually the whole country knows about you. Your competition in other states knows about you. You feature at the magazines, you kind of, you're a big deal, okay? Uh, what do we have here? Price, again, usually not the best. You will pay your premium. Uh, quality, 50-50, uh, a lot of subs. I would say quality is overall good, but there's definitely can be some issues there because um, a lot of subcontractors in construction world involved with the bigger companies. And if you ask contractors on the street, what do you think about quality of that company? Big companies don't have reputation to have uh, solid quality. And the reason the quality here is so, uh, it's not as high as in previous categories because now you have this big company who just have to produce all this volume. So every year they hire new subs, new laborers, and sometimes bad players, bad apples come in, will do uh, lower quality jobs and they have to put their name on it, unfortunately. Just because of the volume, it affects their quality. The same goes with national builders. You know, builders who build thousands of homes, uh, their quality is gonna be lower than custom builders. The same principle applies here. So I'm not saying their quality is horrible, it's just much harder to control the quality here. The, the, um, the same uh, problems as earlier, they will be responsive answering phone calls and stuff, but now you're dealing with a corporate, um, everything will take extra step to resolve. Uh, risk, five, not a lot of risk. They will make it right most of the time. Customer services, four overall. So great example of national leader would be 
Apple Roofing. We're giving them a little bit extra uh, credit here. They do about $35 million. We wish them the best. I know they're going to be $50 million to five hundred million in no time. But uh, the reason we put them on this board because they are nation leader. A lot of people look up to Apple Roofing. They already have several locations. Great company to do business with. And on our chart, just to be clear, they're not 4.2. They're exception. They're closer to five stars here. But overall, company of this side, a size will be about 4.2 stars. And the last one in this category is Storm Chaser. Storm Chaser gets four on the price, three on the quality, three in responsiveness, two on the risk and three in customer service. Here's how I came up with my numbers. Price, similar to others, uh, they usually work with insurance claims. Storm Chaser usually money driven and just travels every year to different markets. On the quality, it's give or take. So when Storm Chaser comes in town, rarely they bring their labor, so they have to rely on local companies, local subs. A lot of times there's shortage, so they have to make quick money fast. Um, just a lot of bad decisions, I guess, when you're in the pickle and quality often goes down. And again, I explain like a contractor. I've seen storm chasers in the work. I, I know what contractors think of storm chasers. We inspect their jobs. We fix their jobs. A lot of times they leave mess behind. Not all of them. There's good exceptions uh, in a rule always, but this is uh, how they compare to others. Um, are they going to be responsive? Usually in the beginning, yes. When they come in town, when they want to promise you job, they're going to promise you mountains, they're going to uh, get your money as fast as possible, they're going to sign a contract as fast as possible. On the back end, responsiveness usually struggles. Jobs takes forever to finish and then you get the idea. Good in the beginning, not always good at the end. A risk is the highest out of all of them. Um, and I say it with experience, I've never been storm chasing in my life, but I see how many markets have storm chasers failing in them. Um, I see a lot of guys who do millions, 10, 20, 30 million, but then they go out of business. When they go out of business, they leave behind bills unpaid, suppliers unpaid, salespeople unpaid, homeowners struggle with the jobs, liens on their property, just a lot of mess. So when you hire storm chaser, you do take greater risk for sure. And customer service overall three, again, when you deal with the money driven people, they are not customer service driven. They came in town. They will tell you that they came in town to help, but wherever they came from, they could have jobs there. They just decided to follow easier opportunity off. Now, uh, storm chasing, hurricane chasing, it's, it's different scenario when it's horrible disaster and it's just huge shortage of contractors like we have in uh, Louisiana this year. That's a little bit different. They just don't have enough contractors in the area locally to take care of the work. Now, cities like Colorado, Minneapolis, Chicago, we have plenty of local guys who can take care of business. So if you live in big cities and uh, you have a smaller local storms, I recommend you work with small local contractors, not out of town con uh, contractors for this reason. Great example here, Mike Powers to serve contracting. If you have not seen our video on them, uh, this uh, link in description below because Mike Powers is a great example. $12 million business, operates in three states, but 10 sales guys are coming on camera uh, spreading the word how he's not paying his bills. $40,000, $50,000 at a time. You run $12 million business. He represents all these numbers. Now, I know a lot of good storm chasers. I, uh, if I recommend storm chaser, they're going to be good ones. They will have local office and they will have a track record to work in that city year after year. Not common there just one uh, summer to make quick bucks and leave leaving customers behind. This is my seven types of contractors. Comment below what you think did not try to offend anyone, especially storm chasers. I have a huge respect for storm chasers for what you guys do. But again, I separate storm chasers to go after markets where there's just labor shortage. And I separate those who are just money driven and try to go and compete with the local guys. My heart is always with local roofers, local 
um, contractors who are trying to build their business locally, uh, spend their money in their communities and build their towns, not only when it hails, but also through entire year. Comment below what you think. I think Max, uh, my graphic designer, did a pretty good job with this presentation. Let me know if you like it, give it a like. If you're the homeowner and looking for the contractor who we can recommend, and when I recommend contractor, I actually put my own money behind a recommendation, $20,000. Recently, we recommended a contractor and he took deposit from the homeowner and we're not able to pay them back when they cancel the project. He spent the money on other projects, got in trouble, called us, hey, Dimitri, I apologize. He was one of the uh, owner operators and he apologized. He, he got in financial troubles and we told him, we will pay back your homeowner $5,500. You pay us back with the next 60 days if you can. He agreed, he's still in directory. We're not gonna kick him out. We're gonna help him to fix his business to make sure it'll never happen again. We are the company of second chances. If you're the homeowner looking for the contract, the link is below to our directory. We will connect you with the plumbers, with electricians, with the roofing contractors, with the general contractors, and we'll back them up. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions about how to hire a contractor, check us out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Almost like a kettlebell. Wherever it peaks, he has to chug it or eat it. Uh, you, you go for it. I have to spin it? Yeah, you have to spin it. And it's gonna go for like 30 minutes now. I should have gotten it like easier. <laughs> I've already had a cup of coffee. And now when this thing's, th if, if, anything, if anything, the roofer's friend is an excellent to tool for picking, making decisions in the office. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> All right, you have to eat that donut.